I'm Daryl Tibbs, the owner of Tibbs Law Office, and today we're going to talk about the third phase here in our probate administration basics, which is our probate administration 101. We've already discussed phase one, which is the opening of the estate, uh, phase two, which is um, identifying and liquidating the assets of the estate and paying any debts of the estate. And then today we're going to discuss phase three, which is the distribution and closing phase. So uh, the distribution of the probate assets is going to occur one of two ways. It's either going to occur according to the will, if there is a will, and if there's not a will, then it's going to occur according to Ohio State statute. Um, the distribution, the, the executor needs to be sure that all of the assets of the estate are distributed, that all debts are paid, and it is possible that after debts are paid that there's not going to be anything left to distribute and that the estate is insolvent, uh, in which case that's reported back to the probate uh, court. The last phase is the last section of paperwork that has to be filled out with the probate court, uh, and that is the closing documents of the estate. It's important to wrap up um, the estate by making sure it gets closed out. Um, the executor has to be aware that the probate court doesn't actually let them off the hook until one year after those closing documents are accepted by the probate court and filed with the probate court.